if you live in a small apartment, you don't want a big black television to block your view on your beautiful white wall. You might want to grab something like this. Holland sent me their projector and uh, I want to do a quick unboxing and review. So let's get started. So what comes in the box is a pretty large box as you can see here hall art home theater projector and uh, the device itself there and uh, yeah as you can expect from my video i got this device for free to do the video for you but i will do of course give you my honest opinion about this device and first of all we have this large kind of a box and what we find here is accessories like for example we have a remote control for the projector which is quite cool so i expect it to have like some kind of menu that you can navigate through maybe even an android system i see a mouse there interesting then of course we have a power cord so i guess the, it needs power of course we have an hdmi cable which is quite nice and this appears to be like the normal hdmi size and then we also have an analog video and audio um, output or input that you can use for something and there's a screw as well and i think the screw is like meant to also positioning the uh, projector up and down and then we have also of course the instruction manual that comes in this little booklet there and then the major attraction is i think the projector itself that comes here in this wrap and is nicely sealed and packaged as you can see so i can quickly get it out there and there we have this whole art uh, projector as you can see on the top we have uh, all the buttons and controls that you need so if the remote control runs out of batteries there are no batteries included by the way then you can use of course the touch uh, elements here it's not real buttons it's touch elements there then you can see we have a pretty large opening here for fans and stuff we have a headphone jack as well as in the AV jack that you can use with this AV cable. So if you have some analog um, sources, you can use this to play it back. Then of course on the front, we have this huge lens that is protected by a lens cap here. Then we have, I think this is an infrared kind of receiver for the remote. And then we have the power plug here. You can see we have manual control for the lens here on the side. It's a bit hidden so you don't bump it accidentally. And on the other side we have all the other inputs. Like we have USB. So I guess we have like a USB pen drive support or USB disk support. And we have two HDMI inputs there as well. As well as like I think a speaker hidden uh, here. So this is the quick unboxing and what you will get with the whole art uh, projector and uh, yeah what do you think about this one here so this is the project now running yeah i know you shouldn't put it on the bed but it is running here as you see and uh, let's check out its uh, yeah projected kind of image there's timmy again and uh, there you can see even in this like condition where i have the um, pretty bright uh, yeah outside world i can still see stuff so we have a very very bright display here it's full hd that it can project but input sources via hdmi can be 4k as well the cool thing it comes pre-installed with a media center kind of application where you can see home and i have various different applications here like youtube spotify facebook netflix prime video tune in disney plus hdtv chrome even and some trending options here as well that i can just play back the cool thing is we have further apps that we can install like third-party apps as this operating system that is running here on the projector is based on android we have mirror cast option to just simply use your smartphone to cast something on the device then of course we have some video options like getting all the videos that we want to watch here and we can just stream it uh, barbie accepts the oscar for example i can just hit play here and it plays back hopefully I'm not copyright striking something here it's just a demonstration you can see it's loading up youtube it's the youtube app there and then it starts playing back stuff hopefully 
Uh, for the playback, it uses, of course, Wi-Fi. So we have Wi-Fi 6 connection here, capabilities as well. Something went wrong. The video is not available, probably not available in my country. But you can see the YouTube app there. And uh, yeah, we have various different uh, videos that we can uh, watch here if we want to. And uh, Mr. Bean, for example, or some other things here, the Pink Panther. Hopefully this will not uh, have some issues. You can see we have also you hear probably a loudspeaker there, advertisements are running nicely and uh, I just want to show you... Uh, let's hit maybe pause here if we can go and... Let's go and check out the settings there and you will see that we have auto quality, the max that we can choose here is 1080p on this video. But yeah, this one is working fine. You hear the speaker, there's one speaker there on the device itself uh, firing to the left. And this is working quite nicely. You can see it's also quite quick. So if navigating here through this, going to the home screen again. And uh, let me go to settings where I can show you some of the settings. So here's where you set up your Wi-Fi network. So it has Wi-Fi, like I said, it has the newest, or one of the newest standards like Wi-Fi 6, so it's also very fast. We have some projector settings here as well. So if I go into this, we can choose what kind of projection we want to have, desktop projection, um, front, we can like twist it, turn it the way, like if you have it like under, uh, basically on, on the ceiling attached, you can just simply change it. We have some zoom settings here. So if you want to have it a bit bigger, we have a vertical, horizontal and whole zoom that we can set up here. We have auto trapezoid, which is active. So you can see even though it's like not 100% straight here, it is like automatically adjusting this. And of course we have the adjusting wheel. You can see if I adjust it, it goes out of, um, out of focus there, but I can adjust it. I have to adjust it manually to be in focus so there's not an automatic uh, focus uh, adjustment there it's a manual one but i like this i prefer this anyway because the automatic ones can sometimes fail so um, having it uh, manually is good we have the input sources that we can choose so if i click here you see on the right usb so we yes usb thumb drive is supported hmi 1 2 and the um, av analog support then we have a media center here so this allows us to uh, Take a look at pictures, audio, videos, and something that is on the thumb drive. Uh, very useful. We have the software update here, and I checked already October 2023, it looks like. October 30th, 2023 is the latest version that I have here on this projector. We have memory cleanup, uh, which allows us to clean up memory, probably for applications, downloads, and stuff. You can see there you have YouTube and Google Play Store. So yes, it is based on Google's Android system. I can clean stuff up. You can see also how much memory we have here. 568 megabytes of roughly um, 1000 uh, used, which is quite interesting. So we have a terabyte of space here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a gigabyte of space, not a terabyte, a gigabyte of space. Um, we have some other options here, which gives me, brings me to another settings level. I'm not sure you can also set up the network and internet, date and time and device preferences. If I go in here, we have uh, again the language that we can choose, the boot mode that we can choose. So we have the possibility to boot on standby or boot on startup, which um, probably has something to do with the uh, power saving mode there. Then we have the apps again, we can choose our apps there. And what I wanted to do, for example, what I found a bit weird is like the YouTube app, for example, has the possibility to have like uh, um, permissions like for microphone, but apparently the permissions for microphone is not granted because there is on this remote control here on the top, I'm not sure if you can see it there between the power button and the source selector, there's a microphone input. And uh, yeah, I think microphone is set up here correctly. I can turn it off and on. So yeah, should work correctly. And yeah, we can turn on uh, notifications and have all the, uh, the, the, the Android uh, stuff uh, to clean up uh, things if we want to. 
Then we have keyboard settings, which is also quite nice. So we can set our keyboard. There's a virtual keyboard. This is the AOSP or Android keyboard that we can use there. And we can set up other keyboards there. Sound settings are also available, like system sounds enabled or not, and surround sound. Uh, possibilities so we can use this uh, according to the source format we have or we can say never use surround sound or manually select it quite cool there's a timer option which is also interesting so power off at a specific time for example so we can set up here once every day or work day especially useful if you use this project for example for work uh, in a special room or something like this. Security and restrictions this allows us to install applications from unknown sources here as well this is also an Android feature there. Local update is also possible and we have some accessibility features there as well, like high contrast that we can turn on text-to-speech or accessibility shortcuts. And we can reset the whole device if it's necessary. Under about, we will see that this is, yeah, the device name is Projector. Android version is 9.0. I think it's still okay, um, but uh, a higher version would be definitely better. You can see the device space, it says, is 8 gigs and the memory is one gig. So we have one gigabyte of RAM and actually device space is eight, should be eight gigs here inside. Uh, quite interesting. You can see also the software version is like really from October uh, 2023. And let's go back to the home uh, page. Uh, here again, the settings here, we have also Bluetooth support. I went into the search, I didn't want to there. But if I go to settings here, there's also the possibility to set up Bluetooth devices so we can add uh, Bluetooth headphones or accessories like, for example, a keyboard. You can either attach it via the USB um, uh, cable there, maybe a USB dongle is also working. I will try it out in a second. Uh, and you can use, of course, Bluetooth uh, for headphones or such things as well, or Bluetooth keyboards as well. Yeah, playback music there, stuff. We have apps as well, and we have also an app store. So if you want to have more applications, you can go to the app store here and let me click app store and it's uh, starting up i think it's their own app store as you can see that is booting up here and uh, because i think android 9 is not supported anymore officially by google i'm not so sure about this but we have a few apps here so this is our home screen so featured apps of course some of them are installed already netflix for example there's like ted for ted talks twitter you can even install if you want to tune in radio twitch if you need it deezer hbo max youtube music disney plus prime video so everything that you want to have is available here soundcloud there's even es file explorer chrome you can install or fastcast uh, most popular are this year. I don't even know most of them. Yandex Music I heard about. So some known brands, known most yeah, used ones definitely for such a project are, are available here. And even Google Play Store is here as, as an installed app. So maybe you can go even into the Google Play Store. Let me do it. Mm, what happens when I... Yeah, and I can sign in to the Google Play Store and then have all Play Store apps probably as well there, which is also quite interesting. We have some apps that are updated like YouTube and WPS Office. So we can uh, say cancel. Yeah, we want to update. Are they updating now in the background? As you can see here, this is how it works. WPS Office is also there. If you need some Office documents, you can see you can do your work. It's like a completely Android station that you have there. And if you touch mouse and keyboard, you can really do your work there. Of course, you don't have like a real Office kind of uh, app, but at least this is possible there. Under My Apps, we have like the upgrade option, which allows us to see, check for upgrades there, the latest version of the store itself, clean the cache if you want to. And uh, yeah, those are the possibilities we have different categories there as well like uh, video news music sports games so there are even games available here so if you want to uh, play some casual games here you have the possibility to do this on your project uh, as well so plenty of features here in this project i really like this uh, coming with uh, shipping with a real operating system there that allows us to do various things there's also like the possibility to see our weather here connect to wi-fi our time there as well the time i think we have to correct there a little bit because it's like not six in the morning here right now and uh yeah pretty nice let's check out uh some real video so let's check out a video of mine from youtube so i don't get any copyright strikes one of the latest videos that i have here is this uh, huawei Mate 60. You can see there's also 
a bit of advertisement going on of course the advertisement looks nice and good as you can see uh, from the quality here I can mute it if I don't want it to be too loud distracting and uh, then let's see how it looks like playing back the video itself on my update video on the main you can see it's pretty loud in the change log there was only written camera improvements for photos in certain scenarios and security patches of february 2020 so it can get pretty loud as you might heard in the background and it's uh, over 60 percent i think it getting a little bit of like shouty there and uh, let's check out the uh, quality because i know that this video is done in 4K. If I can choose 4K here, no, the max is really 1080p because the projector only allows 1080p, so it's not doing like downscaling or something like this. So 1080p, but 1080p is fine as well. So we have the whole YouTube app playing back here. I can just uh, let it play further. Let me figure out how the controls work because there's no play button here on on this controller i think if a play button would be here i think it would be a bit easier than to play pause but there's only the okay button so you have to like go i think up up and then hit okay for the playback uh, i'm not so sure i just hit here on the timeline okay and then it's starting playing playing back stuff how do i hide the there you go and you can see it's pretty bright even in like i said daylight conditions also the sharpness i really like for this projector and you can imagine like i have it very close to the wall now uh, it's working quite nicely without any issues very fluid as well uh, wonder if it plays back also um, uh, 1080p uh, 60 frames per second let me check that out so this is a demo video about denmark i've muted the sound here and uh, let me check out not the suggestions let me check out if i can set up here 60 fps it's like even 8k 60 fps i'm not sure yeah but 1080p 60 fps it is playing back as you can see so without any stutters here we have 60 fps playback on this device cool thing is i attached a keyboard now just to search on youtube and such stuff you can see here this keyboard is lit up it's a gaming keyboard and if i press some buttons you will see that it is working as you saw it's like going there and i can use the keyboard now to navigate here and type in um, some stuff which is i think also pretty cool so i can hit here and uh, yeah i'm pretty much familiar more with the keyboard so this is working uh, quite nicely so yeah keyboard is working as well but if you need a mouse sometimes especially for browsing like if you go into the uh, web browser for example or facebook or anything that you uh, want to have like a mouse let's go to chrome for example uh, hit okay there you go takes a while for chrome to load Ah, it's not even installed this is why ah, okay after you install it so you can see how it looks like with installation and you can see installation process is also quite straightforward and quite fast as well because we have here wi-fi 6 support and if you have fast internet connections it should not be an issue to install it and you can see already that it is usable via the uh, controller and the mouse i hope you can see it there uh, maybe we can zoom in a little bit there you can see it there's a mouse symbol and a controller symbol so that is also pretty nice because it uh, tells you if you can use it with a controller or not and uh, yeah let's zoom out again uh, let's go to 24 and yeah we can open it up now and this is the chrome browser and the cool thing here about this uh yeah except chrome browser here you can see that in this case it might be useful to have a mouse maybe and the cool thing here on the remote control you have like this mouse button if i press this mouse button you will see a mouse will appear and you can use now the navigation keys to move around the mouse on the screen so if i want to go to a specific website like for example wikipedia i can do so and uh, yeah if i want to type something in i don't know what i should type in we were talking about denmark let's type in denmark you can see i use my normal keyboard i can use also the android virtual keyboard there but i can use also the um 
this one as well you can see I used I can use the mouse as well to use to navigate to the keyboard here and uh, the enter keys for some reason not working so let's do this there we go and yeah I can use this now and if I go down with the mouse it's also scrolling very nicely I can like uh, now inform myself about Denmark uh, which is uh, a nice addition or oh, the keyboard shortcuts should work as well like control T it's bringing up a new um, new tab there and I can use control L to type in something like for example if I want to go to neptunos.com if you're interested in Linux distributions for example this would be the one to go the enter key is not working for some reason so I think they remap the enter key for some reason so I have to like always go onto the uh, virtual keyboard and hit go there but uh, otherwise pretty good a pretty solid way to navigate here also with an external keyboard and this will pretty much work also with the mouse and keyboard if you have like an USB dongle attached to the device so another quick test I attached my smartphone this is the Xiaomi 14 Ultra now with a USB-C to HDMI cable and what I can do now is I can go into the inputs and choose you can see it detected HDMI is something is uh, attached to it and press OK and you can see I am now in my game here it's also playing music so it's also getting the music via the phone let me mute it just for copyright reasons and I can just go to next here it's uh, using 1080p 60 frames per second here which is the maximum that it can handle and uh, let's see if we can play a racing game there on this device uh, via my smartphone um, you could imagine like attaching a PlayStation or a Nintendo Switch or something like this to this device as well you can see it seems to be working fine especially if you have like a normal uh, kind of um, yeah, normal kind of wired connection oops and I destroyed myself there then you can see there's no delay as well so let me try to boost and it's the first time I'm playing this game so it's using the controls for the um, tilting of the phone for steering so maybe let's with the boost try to overtake them yeah number three now and come on boost I need a bit more boost there we go I want to be number one let's take the bridge no one else is taking the bridge hey and I crashed again so you can see this is working as well so you have the possibility to use uh, this as a gaming station there as well just using this game here now uh, you can of course use uh, different games there like I said PlayStation or an Nintendo Switch or something like this via HDMI you can just simply attach it and it should work without any issues there on this device and uh, yeah, I crashed someone also cool so I get another boost which is quite nice and uh, let me try to win this race one guy to overtake still come on I'm a bit too fast I think ah, because I don't know how to break this is why probably second space second place doesn't matter also pretty good so yeah this is the possibility how you can also play games with the project you can see it's pretty sharp it's pretty fast and uh, no issues there at all also I think for in terms of sound it produces loud and clear sound which is also very nice how about office work so I have attached my notebook here my Asus Zenbook with HDMI control you can see the HDMI cable going then directly to the projector and what we will get is also I think a pretty sharp and clear image without big problems so what I can show you right now is for example like uh, what it would look like when you are performing some work or such things so I'm in a browser here right now I could sh just try to read some text here or there work and you can see that it's quite clear 
crystal clear actually bright enough and it's sharp enough and if it's not sharp enough what you can do is like of course tweak the sharpness a little bit with the uh, included uh, possibility to do it manually and I have very very sharp text I can read everything that is uh, written there the new Vivo X Fold 3 series for example quite interesting there will be announced on the 26th of March so I can read everything, copy and paste everything, it's nice and sharp, the display. It's really full HD, so it's not like 720p only. It is full HD and you can really work with this one. Uh, maybe we can tweak some settings, let me check if I can tweak some picture settings there as well. Like I can set the picture mode instead of standard to vivid, which would change stuff, to a bit softer, which I think is uh, helping with the sharpness actually. Uh, or I can just manually change to whatever I like to have here, which is also quite nice. So yeah, uh, I think the standard, I think the soft works best here for, for um, projecting my laptop screen, for example, which is not too over sharpened. Uh, and yeah, what do we have here more? Like the display mode we can choose instead of 16 by 9, 4 by 3. And we have some advanced picture settings like we can set the color temperature, the noise reduction and so on on this. We can even set the game mode enabled. I should have set this or talked about the game mode earlier. So for a little bit faster action there, uh, this one helps as well to reduce blur and such things. And then we have some sound options there. So we have sound mode, of course, the standard one, news, music, movies, optimized for sports, a user or using the standard one. Surround options like we have uh, SVS 3D, DBX and DBX2. I'll be completely honest, I don't know, maybe your sound people don't know about sound device. So we have the projector speaker, but what we can also do is like um, we have the possibility to use like an output like the uh, three and a half millimeter headphone output there and I'm probably also sure that you can set up here Bluetooth uh, sound as well if it if it is there and we have some advanced sound fact, uh, settings like AVC that we can turn on and uh, we, we have the hang sound I don't know what it does this mean to be honest I don't know anything different between desktop and hang and uh, some advanced settings there as well, like the OSD display, how long it should be projected here. HDMI, CEC support is there as well. And uh, yeah, some more settings that we can see, like blue screen we can turn on, whatever this means. Uh, yeah, those are the settings that we have here for this one. And we can also attach a TV if, if it's necessary, but I don't think so. Uh, and uh, of course you can also plug in your fire stick via the HDMI cable there and use that and it works just fine on this device as well so pretty pretty advanced and lots and lots of features on this device so overall this little projector yeah is it so little it's not so little but it's very lightweight a little projector i would say surprised me because it has all the features that i need probably you don't need to have anything plugged in via the hdmi cable you can just put it in your backpack or something like that put it take it to a hotel and then watch your movies there via the hotel wi-fi or something which is uh, pretty nice because yeah wi-fi 6 support very fast netflix support you can use your netflix wherever you go uh, watch YouTube videos wherever you uh, go. It can even work because you can have a USB uh, port there. You can plug a USB hub, use mouse and keyboard there and start like writing articles or something like this or uh, reading news on the web, which is nice. But you can also attach via HDMI your laptop and it is working nicely. And if you want to, after long work, they play a bit of games you can do so as well because you can attach a playstation nintendo switch or something like this and play back stuff i like this very much together with the included remote the only thing like i said what i really like to have would be like the batteries because i had to like use uh, by the way triple a batteries they're using there put some batteries in there and uh, then it's working fine the remote the only thing I'm missing on the remote maybe would be a play pause button. Um, maybe also skip forward and backwards is there already, but a play pause button would work uh, pretty nicely. And I think, yeah, how could they improve it? I think for the price it's hard to, uh, to improve. The only thing I 
could not make run is the microphone hole that we have here so there's microphone in there for sure but for some reason youtube and its search never detected my voice there i don't need it to be completely honest but it would be a nice gimmick there uh, as well the controls here on the top are also working fine they're nice and large what i really like is that especially also when you're watching a longer movie or something like this that this is not getting too loud so yes the fan is spinning but it's constantly spinning i never had the issue that it was like getting really loud or had to spin up so much to cool the device so this is also very nice so you have always like the same kind of humming sound in the background of the um, ventilator or the the um, the little fan there spinning around cooling the device without much of an issue so even when it's getting quiet in a movie or something it was never distracting which is also very very positive for this so i'm very happy with this device and can give my thumbs up two thumbs up for this device i have to say and uh, yeah it's a bit of large but it features a lot of features which i really like and has android support even if it's an older android version but you can run all the apps that you really need netflix is running nicely in hd without any issues and uh, you can attach a fire stick if you need more features there uh, or another chromecast or something like this but also like streaming or mirror cast streaming from your smartphone to this device is working fine i'm happy what i can i say it's a very very good product for the price and if you're interested in this product i will put the link down below that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye